You know you can do this. And still be what? A lap dog. Right? Yeah. No dog. That's the difference between Lestat and uh, Armand. Lestat turned Claudia, but Armand refused to turn yeah. Madeline. Yeah. What's going on? It's your boy Cynthia with Intel, and I'm here with the beautiful Michael Claire. It's almost over. I know the penultimate, <laughs> the second to last episode of what has been probably the best uh, uh, season of the two, I think, so far. I liked the first one better. You like the first one better? I oh did. my gosh. I'm I curious did. what you all think as well. Make sure you stay to the very end because you know me and Michael Claire are going to chop it up, have a bit of a back and forth, if you will, over things we've enjoyed and the things that, you know, we may be scratching our heads over. So without any further ado, let's get started. Stay tuned after the show for an exclusive look. Woo! My yes, man showed up and was like, I'm back. Thanks, AMC. Thanks, AMC. What you saying? No. Let's we'll stop. <laughs> Uh, just a big huge shout out to all of the fans of the channel. You guys have been spectacular in the comments with some incredible insight. Thank you so much. This, that part. You all make this journey great. Mm. Could you not? Or did you choose not to? I am excited. To? Me too. Oh. Oh. It's oh. gonna be okay. Yeah. Is it? You was, you was big chesting until they threw them burlap sacks on your head. That part. Vampire Claudia and her companion Madeline are... Burlapped. Yeah, <laughs> I see what you did there. That's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, how in the world did you even forgive Armand for this? Abducted. We don't know what happened yet. Outnumbered. Damn, and are they stomping you too? Mm. What is Sorry. that? Sorry, said Armand sold you out. No, he what? Said you can stop talking now. Oh, okay. I love that they have on the same shirt. <laughs> Him and Armand. Straining for any sound of her. Any sound. She was alive. Oh. I was wondering. I'm like, y'all gonna let a burlap sack stop you? <laughs> Dang, they fed her to the rats. Wow. Oh, wow. I could not go to her. Wow. Oh, wow. Premeditated murders wow. of the vampire. So did Madeline get it like that too? I guess so. The Stade de Lyoncourt. I forgot my powdered wig. Consciousness. Gruesomely. Mm, 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 mm. Shacks come off, your character's in a play. Props. Mm. Look at Armand. <laughs> and every actor on stage has scripted lines. Except for us. He knows. And if we attempted to speak, we need to know any laws. How is she members sitting behind us? How is she there with powers when the rats ate her? Our mind. Oh wow. That's kind of dope. We have your words here. Oh. They took all her diaries, her journals. Meditation. November the 23rd, 1939. Remember, they're not supposed to write. I shall be yeah. your angel of death. The stand. Oh. Our future together, end quote. Well, I have already planned yours. That, <laughs> I do like his vest, but that blouse is doing big things. I thought his gear was kind of dope I for the time period. Did. Yeah, for the time period. <laughs> the blouse is a bit much for me, but I do love the vest. She had us all fooled. Oh, uh, I cut the Achilles. Uh, Slashed yeah. to the bone. Wounds uh, that would not heal before the curtain fell. That is disgusting. Nailed to the floor. Wow. A growing sense of nausea took over me. How come he can't feel him? Oh, oh, okay. That's what I was just about. Oh, oh here, here he comes. Here, here he comes. A familiar scent. Oh my gosh. The audience was near. He is here. And all I could think was, my oh. boot thing here. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Lestat. The victim. Monsieur Lestat de Lyoncourt. Oh, <laughs> bravo. Oh. Wee. Brother! That is how we make an entrance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Look at look at their faces. Look. Oh. <laughs> Woo. 
Looking clean. Looking sharp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ham. It's gonna be a little century, isn't it? Of course he is. He's on stage. Written by the vampire Claudia, in which your last words are recorded in your own blood. Dang. That's wild. Yes, it is. I swear, in my own blood. In my pinstripes. <laughs> to Paris because? I have a box at Rolling Garros for the men's doubles. I'm going to drain the Australians if they win. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's not in the script. Look, that's on. Madame Brasserie. <laughs> Yeah, this is not in the script. You know he's gonna go off book. Oh, yeah. Justice for I mean, the he attempted does murder off script. Of yeah. Mmm. Oh, the start. I can't wait. Ooh, he clean. That's it's their turn to hurt. Oh. Ooh. In the flesh. It had all the hallmarks of a hallucination. But it was him. At last, come to kill us. In the flesh. Mm-hmm. So your new boyfriend sold you. <laughs> that ah. part. <laughs> he's like, That's he's like, wild. let me get this right. <laughs> yeah. Take us back to the beginning, if you will, of this story of butchery. It's a story of love. Love story. That mm. part. It's a story of love wrong. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, let me. Still going off the cuff. Oh, of course he is. He's like, I'm not on script. I'm telling these truths. My yes. first paramour, Nicolas de la Vaughan. Nicolas de la Belonged to this very theater troupe. Oh. <laughs> Briefly. I followed Lestat's gaze. Armand. I saw Armand in mm -hmm. one of the boxes. Mm-hmm. Looking shameful. Looking like a dog that got caught peeing on the floor. Standing next to him, blocking his exit. <laughs> they cut the music. No, he wasn't. He didn't have his Achilles cut. A painfully close view of the stage. Or what? I don't trust it. Yeah, or what? Or they'd kill me. It was a part of his punishment. Just a clarification. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Daniel is hilarious. Screwed over Louis, Claudia, mm -hmm. and Madeline. And then you sat in the best seat in the house. <laughs> that part. He spent the whole performance calculating a way to save me. I don't trust it. Europe while I mourn. <laughs> this dude is <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> Weed roots growing around me. He got the perfect curls in his hair, everything. He is it. <laughs> in 1908. Yeah, Mama said the only sustenance could not obliterate the pain of was the ancient blood inside of him. That's crazy. For a hundred years. It's not the old world. You left for the new one. Bob the Atlantic in search of America's star spangled shores. He's like, uh uh, Santiago. Embarked for New Orleans. New Orleans. The edified daughter of Paris. <laughs> Who did, did you, you encounter? Monsieur de Leon called. Louis. My Louis Louis. My Louis. How do you say it? My Louis. My Louis. <laughs> He's still hurt. First time he looked at him. He's still hurt. I mean, I would be too if the love of my life tried to kill me. Louis de Pointe de Lac. Oh. Accused. Hit and point. I merely glanced his way. You'd be precise in your declarations, advocate. Mm. I'm about to violate the fifth. Keep calm, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not can hear you too, homie. Be careful what you say. That's your house. And then everywhere I went, as if <laughs> by happy accident. Look at his nails. I know. Mm -hmm. They always have the long coffin nails. Coke nails. Coffin nails. That's actually a thing. How do you know mm. that it was not your own voice? Louis, mm. speaking your own unspeakable. Santiago don't know what to do. Yeah, they're going <laughs> off book. Framing them in the darkness. Mm. This man is I would come to you. one hell of an actor. Oh, the guy playing yes. with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, Sam yeah. Reed? Yeah. Woo, child. Yeah. This man is giving me all the feels. Presence. Yes. Yeah. Sex, but I wonder. Mm. Ooh. Where lies their disgust now? Oh. And oh, back on stage. Oh. oh. Wow. And scene. <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> he read the hell out of that dude. Want to eat people? <laughs> what she said? He didn't want to eat people. Oh. She, she's so good. She's so young. 
Yeah, she doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. She's still yeah. trying to figure this out. I didn't know if he was ever going to come back. I was engulfed with this loneliness. I closed my eyes and waited for the fire. <laughs> Claudia. <laughs> he wrong for that. I think that's hilarious. That's, that's hilarious. Gave me no say. Made me more of a vampire than anyone up here. A child. Recalling a transformation weeks after the event. <laughs> Ooh. That is very jarring. Ooh. As it's supposed to be. You know you can do it. And so be what? A lap dog. Right? Yeah. That's the difference between Lestat and uh, Armand. Lestat turned Claudia, but Armand refused to turn yeah. Madeline. Yeah. Mind and her spirit will age, but the world will treat her as she is now. And she will be miserable, and you will love her. He tried to tell you. Fire will be on your reach. He knew. Mm. He knew. All of that is truth, and all of that occurs every day. Please, 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 please. No. Please, please, please. Wow. So here's the crazy thing: if 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 Lestat was on trial, he's the one that turned turned a child. Lestat really loved him. Mm -hmm. Loves him. She is my blood. I broke the second law. Mm -hmm. When you sentence them for their crimes, you sentence me to. I thought that. You were manipulated. Uh, Trial. Yes. No. So hold what? Claudia doesn't know that? Well, she wasn't barely conscious. No, I know, but I'm sure I thought they'd had many conversations since then. Yeah. It's been centuries. Claudia was an unforeseen joy. A formidable fledgling. A consummate killer. Mm. A congenial <laughs> companion. Mm. Mm. Help me, I had Claudia's that. moods worsened. She harmed herself in the sun for attention. Mm. And followed that with a killing spree. Corpses clogging the bayou. <laughs> Louis was miserable. He blamed himself. Mm. And he folded in. Look at Madeline. <laughs> Every word coming out of his mouth is vitriol mm. or disinterest. Santiago so so ready for this to keep. He's like, what are you doing? Yeah, he is like, this is not part of the script. Huh? Like you love him. Mm. What do you do? What? Oh, yeah, he took on another lover, remember? Mm -hmm. Do you find affection elsewhere? <laughs> Antoinette Brown. Later, the vampire and mm. return. Before her travel bag had hit the floor, Claudia assessed the fragility of our union. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. I remember all of that. Yeah. <laughs> I see the best of my vampiric self in her. I believe that. I mean, obviously. Come with me. Come with me to Europe. Yeah. Wow. I remember that too. Like it was yesterday. <laughs> and he was hers again. And you and Louis fought. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Understatement. Slams each other around. Yeah, time. he's like, oh, yeah. he fought. Yeah, he, he fought. I was like, mm, playing with a rabbit. No, yeah, that was an understatement. Compromise. Oh, I'm trying to restrain myself, Louis. <laughs> right? <laughs> See, I'm trying. Mm. Oh my god. Goodness. I remember how that that was super traumatic. Oh my gosh. Look at your fucking. trying to warn him. <laughs> yeah, like, dude. He's like, you don't understand my power. I'm yeah. trying to restrain it, but there's only so much I can take. You're leaving with her? Oh. No, it's okay. Goodness. It's, it's over. Stay where you are, okay? Mm. 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 I don't condone it, but I understand. I, I don't condone that, but 
I understand. Well, I mean, he, had, <laughs> he had a lot of restraint. Yeah, that's that. what I'm saying. And then other than... Were teased until you toffled. He tried to kill him. Oh, did he? <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know. It's a lethal distance for a mortal, but for a vampire. So... Yeah, I was like, it's nothing. Yeah. Lestat has within his veins a most ancient blood. A godlike Power. strength. Mm. Wow. A godlike strength. Through a priest's skull. Did you do that to the accused? No, you didn't. Godlike strength. That is something. Yeah. We are monsters. And to us monsters, what's a bite between paramours? Mm. Mm. <laughs> you knew Louis would be fine. Armand is so intrigued. He's like, I want to hear this story. Because I'm sure he doesn't know the whole truth. Mm -mm. And he was fine. No, Louis was not fine. He has to be, it's re traumatizing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You knew he would be fine, and he was fine. No. Mm. He wasn't fine. Mm mm. <laughs> Santiago, look at Santiago. It wasn't a misunderstanding. It wasn't an accident. Mm -mm. I knew what I was doing. Yeah, that's why I flew up so high. I watched him plummet, clutch the air. Mm. I saw him swinging wild as he fell through the cloud. Mm. Read for yourself. Hmm. That was no scripting, Lestat. Mm -mm. You cannot script a hurricane. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> and it did hurt him. Hmm. Because he was hurt. Yeah. Not that, you know, yeah, like yeah. we're saying, this is. Afterwards, he was a broken thing. Oh. Yeah. I know. I saw. Because I am the one who broke him. Hmm. I couldn't force him to love me, and so... Oh, my gosh. I broke him. Oh, mm. my gosh. What is worse than that? Mm. Crushing what you cannot own. Ugh. I hurt the one. I hurt the only one. Doing oh, my gosh. Hurting you again. Oh, my gosh. I thought of this often in the coffin <laughs> that you left me in. Mm. Years since. I... He blames himself. I will always be sorry for what I did. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I was not worthy of the forgiveness you would give me. Hmm. Oh my goodness, Lestat. There's a confession for you. And then. Apologize. Something real. Mm -hmm. mm. This is Lestat. Because you get fired up, and then when you see the person, then it kind of goes away. Absolutely. I wasn't thinking about Lestat's sincerity, I was thinking about how I was going to die. Yeah. Yeah, that part. But, but. But he still felt he moved Claudia. Oh. Mm. Right up on her feet. Wow. Good. Mm. Ouch. Oh, that's so disgusting looking. We poisoned him. A confession. He's not dead. He's standing right here in front of us. Madeline's taking this all in. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy. Bailey, <laughs> put your clear top, please. Santiago. <laughs> Santiago. <laughs> One more round in the stormy romance of you two. Never been about me. No, it hasn't. Well, I don't know about that I was either. Just a roof shingle that flew off of your house. Nah, because Louis did did. No, love her. I think Louis did, but I'm talking about Lestat. I don't know, yeah. Lestat. Yeah, it's take never her. been about her. No, a stoning. Mm. Took the air out of the place with that one. 
Mm. Got a lot less fun real quick. Eh. And they had Lestat back in the chair, fully recovered from his apology back on the mission. Eh. Mm. Lines picking up his cues, hypnotizing the mortals back around with the potboiler in New Orleans. Mm. Armand. The mistress, extinguished in the courtyard oven. Mm. Yep. Iran is looking up through the tank water, waiting mm. for the chum to be dumped. Look at Armand. She had confessed. I couldn't move. The stock would have his vengeance. Mm. The stock don't want that now, though. Well, he continued on with the play. Yeah, yeah, he's playing his part, but that confession mm -hmm. was real. This is hard. Dang. Yeah, because that paint is probably worth tens of thousands of dollars. Oh, they got they got more money than that. <laughs> the vampire Madeline, what is her cry? Oh, she's just a bastard fletchling. Dang. Made without the knowledge or consent. That's true her. though. That's true. Mm. Which is Oh, but it was the knowledge now and me. not consent. Mm. He's the coven master yeah. now? I didn't know that. To be offered the same choice as any vampire. This is true and fair. In accordance with vampiric law, may she not join the coven and become one with us. Mm-hmm. Look at Claudia. Or die. No points for enthusiasm, but it is. True. Her decision. Madeleine Epavier Heiss! Heiss! Right? Right. The accused you sit with and join our cover. Ooh, that's you better announce the accused. She was like, you better if you want to live. She's not going to though. And my immortal companion is Claudia. Mm-hmm. My coven is Claudia. Oh. Mm. I knew that was gonna happen. My vampire heart. That's what she wanted more than anything for somebody to stand up for her like that. For the heretical desecration of the first of the great laws, what say you for the vampire Madeleine Epavier? Sentenced to death. Guilty. guilty. What is she guilty of? And there be. She's used to this, remember? Yeah, the, oh yeah, 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 I remember the whole backstory. What is your sentence? Yeah. She's like, I've been here before. Mm. Mm. For the heretical desecration of the first, third, and fourth, and the murder of the vampire Antoinette Brown, and the attempted murder of her maker, the vampire Monsieur Le Oh, yeah, she's guilty for all of that. What say you for the vampire Claudia? Guilty or not guilty? guilty. Yeah, I mean, she is guilty of all those things, though. Yeah. May I ask the court for a final request? Mm. No. <laughs> I said what I said. Right, that's his. That's her. He made her. Man in the balcony. Armand. If there is an afterlife, I'm gonna come back and kill all of you. Goodness. Mm. Goodness gracious. Mm. And if there isn't an afterlife, I'm still gonna find a way. Mm. 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 I don't doubt that none though. Mm. <laughs> I don't doubt hey, that. And you know, none. I think the start looked at her and I was like, that's my girl. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's like... For the vampire, Louis de Pont du Lac. Santiago been waiting this forever. No, oh, yeah. You're not guilty. <laughs> look, 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 look. He's so smug with it. Yeah, he loves it. Oh, they can't say death. Lestat, Lestat is stopping them. It's either Armand or Lestat stopping them from saying it. Who do you think it is? Armand or Lestat? Uh, um, Lestat. Could be Armand, It's though. Armand. Yeah, it's Armand. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Punishment. 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 He saved him. He saved him. Lestat did not. Mm. Fascinating. Oh, I thought it was over. <laughs> it took all my strength. 
You saved Louie. Yep. Yeah. He loves him. But not her. He don't love her. I don't know her. <laughs> he said all my strength. He's like, all my strength went to Louie. I could not prevent it. The title of the, uh, the episode. I couldn't prevent it. Yeah. Oh. His cheeks twitching. Send him to Belgium. <laughs> he is not amused. Take him downstairs. Take him in nice and tight. Uh, she's uh. screaming for him then. That was a real one. Look how they're looking I'm at each other. I guess that they didn't drive you to the Belgian border. No. Uh. Ouch. There wasn't much fight left in me. Uh. What is that? To their that salt beans? or something? Crypt. Rocks? Showed me the coffin. Rocks and filled the coffin with rocks. I so think they're gonna move. Oh my! Oh, claustrophobic. I can't see you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh that's oh worse my than death. gosh! That claustrophobia would be so real. And while that's going on, she's upstairs on stage. He doesn't know what happened to her then. Yeah, because I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. Is he going to tell the truth? I don't know. He's dealing with that guilt. And now for your viewing pleasure. They lift up the stage. A spectacle and a Arms around each other. Probably going to set, set them on fire. Whispering last words to one another. Does anybody have the time? One second. One second. Oh dear. Time to eat. Remember that when you leave here today. Uh -uh. You are all. I tried to hear what Claudia was saying to Madeline, but my mind was with Louis. Mm. Out curtain hiding the perfectly mounted observatory lens mm. for the perfectly timed sun in the sky above the theater. Oh, sun in the sky. Mm. Follow the bouncing ball. <laughs> Follow the bouncing ball. Mm. Yeah, if you remember that was her script. Oh yeah, the Lulu. Mm -hmm. Claudia gave the audience her back. And Madeline succumbed first. Mm. Wonder if he ever knew that. Wow. And you can tell from the look on Lestat's face, the last thing she saw on Earth was her maker. Was yep. Yep. Wow. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Wow. Santiago is so pleased with himself. He is. He think he orchestrated a masterpiece. And he kind of did. Yeah, I mean, that's one way to to uh, lead the, the coup, right? Yeah, that's wild. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop Word. it. Word. Yeah. That's how we gonna go out. Wow. Just picked up her little old dress. That, and that kept her, it that moving. her uh, friend made for her, that Madeline made yes. for her. Yes. Wow. wow that I was I was not expecting like a full on trial. That was brilliant. Yeah, it was it was so well done. Like everybody just showed up again to be like, yeah, we flexing for these Emmys tonight. Dude, again. Lestat? Again. Yeah. I mean, 
Sam Reed Lestat, if you're listening, <laughs> that performance yeah. Yeah. was absolutely stunning. I've been singing Armad's praises for like the past couple of episodes, Woo. but that was that was Sam Reed's yeah, Lestat. Oh my god. Lestat took that and ran with it. It was it here's the thing, like I know that they, this relationship that they're in is no good. It's violent. Toxic. It's destructive. It's yeah. as toxic as it possibly can get. But there is something to be said when you listen to somebody explain it from their side of, from, 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 from their point of view. Mm. It doesn't justify the actions, doesn't condone the actions, but it's interesting to hear them explain it because you can be like, a part of you was like, I get it. Mm. You know, mm. I, if somebody, if you've never been hurt to that level before, you know, that level of pain can make you do things that is way out of character, way out of pocket. Mm. Hopefully you have enough humanity to restrain yourself and to not put yourself in a mess up situation. But there's some people that don't have that strength. They just don't, they don't, don't, they don't know how to cope with that level of pain. Let's not flew Louis to the moon and dropped him because he he was hurt he wanted him to feel the same type of pain that he felt he wanted to do away with him well who knows it was a mountain of, of emotions to go through that's wild um it, it can, i'm sure like it can be triggering for for people that have been maybe in those kind of situations so this is one of those kind of episodes that i would be like man it may need a warning you know, typically when you see like mm -hmm. a show where something horrible is about to happen, they warn you up, up, up ahead. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is one of those kind of episodes. It's like, listen, you know, if you suffer from abuse or in an abusive relationship, you may see some things that could trigger you. That's how good of a performance, at least from what I took from it, from from watching this this story being told. How about you? Um, no, I agree with the triggering thing. Yeah. Um. You know, and there was that scene that they kept referring back to when they had that fight. Yeah. You know, and that I feel like is is was very triggering as well. Yeah. Um, and in this with him apologizing and knowing that it seems very sincere and heartfelt, right? You do kind of feel for him, even though he's the one that dropped him and broke him. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So you're kind of like, Oh my gosh, you know. But their their whole love story has been that way. Yeah. It's very like you said, very toxic, very, um, you know, uh, if it were humans, it would be not good at all. Yeah. And you would hope that they would uh, part from each other. Um, and as vampires, obviously, we see it's very destructive as well, right? Yeah. Like yeah. he literally dropped and broke him. Yeah. Um, and is apologizing and still has that deep sense of love for him, yeah. even though yeah. he did not save him. No, he did not. That was one thing I was not expecting. I thought Lestat would have swooped in. And so he was really there to see the execution. Well, like, and the other thing is too, though, like he's here for the, he's here probably summoned by this coven. Mm -hmm. He's trying to follow the rules of the coven. Right. You know, he even said, you know, if we're if truth be told, I broke some rules too, and yeah. I'm guilty also. But they were like, no, no, that's not why we're here. Yeah, that's not why we're yeah, here. Let's not, we love you. We love yeah, you, Lisa. Yeah. We need your power. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. um, no, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. I think the whole thing is so funny. It's tragically beautiful. Yeah. Because I don't want them to be together so that they're like hurting each other yeah. but they do love each other yeah. um there's been some interesting conversation I've, I've been going to some of the chat rooms and there's the conversation regarding uh the relationship that madeline has with claudia mm -hmm. and some people feel that um it's very um gross because you're you're having this relationship with the child now mm. Mm. Now keep in mind that she's 14 in in this, so it, it seems yeah physically it seems sketchy. But in the books, you know you have to keep in mind that uh, Claudia's even younger, so oh. that's a real twisted kind of thing. I think she's like 10 years old or whatever oh. it is. So oh, you have I didn't this, realize that. So you have this grown woman mm. who who loves this child, um, but and the end when they asked her you know you can turn and maybe you know join the coven mm -hmm. or to save your life and you can see claudia kind of like telling her like no mm -hmm. um she's like no i i will die for her you know mm -hmm. which 
in, in terms of the conversation, seems a little weird, right? Like uh, you have this grown adult who would be willing to die for a child who looks like a child physically, who looks like a child who's mentally someplace else. Mm -hmm. But then there's also this beauty too. If you can look past that, <laughs> past the fact that is a, you know, some weird pedophilic kind of thing kind of going on to show that this woman gave Claudia exactly what she was finally looking for at the end of her life, and that is to be loved unconditionally, just pure, I'm all in, I got your back, I'm with you, I'm gonna stand 10 toes down mm. with you. And then she finally got that at the very end, and it came from one of the more unlikeliest of places, you know, it came from a place from, from a woman who represented what she wanted to be, who she idolized, and, and, and then she finally got it, but she got it at her death. So I think there's something really tragic. It's weird with the child child adult relationship, but tragically beautiful that Claudia finally did get what she was looking for. I don't know for me, I feel like I don't know if I see Madeline and Claudia's um, relationship as romantic. Okay. Um, because they, they didn't like no. kiss or like say no, because then know. that would have been really but, awkward. Uh, but I'm yeah, but I'm yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying like so I didn't see it that way. Right. I saw it as you know how um, Louis and her don't have a romantic relationship. Right, right. You know, but he sees her more as a daughter. Right. So I feel like maybe mm -hmm. Madeline can have a love for her that's not in well, a romantic sense. I do think that's what the interpretation is supposed to be. I'm just talking on behalf of what I've been reading in like the Twitter sphere. It's like people who okay. are like, that's kind of, okay. that's a little odd kind of thing. So I just want to kind of like address it. Oh, okay. and just, yeah, and just I, be like, I, I, I didn't want to pretend like I was blind to the fact that this is a child having a relationship with, a, with, a, with an adult. Yeah, I guess, yeah, and yeah. I get that. I yeah. just didn't take that from it, and maybe right. they had it a little different in the book. Right. But from what I'm seeing on here, like I didn't get that, like necessarily romantic vibe from them. I feel like they love each other. Mm -hmm. um, I think she loves. I think Claudia loves Madeline's humanity mm -hmm. and all of those things. Yeah. And there are things about Claudia that, if I think about it long enough, I could think, you know, as far as like that, Madeline respects and loves about her as well yeah um but i can understand if it if it if she is 10 and physically right right how that would look very disturbing right yeah. right 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 so yeah. i'm saying that just to address it because yeah. i'm sure there's other people that have been going into some of these little chat rooms and stuff mm -hmm. and and have seen that and been like well dang you know mm -hmm. we're on Sintel's channel and he kind of like avoided it mm -hmm. i didn't want to avoid the question mm -hmm. um let me see what else uh but then also also think the battle also got like like the dirty end of the stick too like she She's already kind of gone through this trauma before, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the head shaved, um, pretty much had been a public stoning for who she is. And then here she is right back at it again. It's like, dang, like you just can't catch a break at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, and it was like, what, the right. day, the night of her mm -hmm. turning and right. all that. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's tragic just like the whole story is but i think like you said i think she served a purpose for claudia yeah. in terms of the story right um to give her that i will stand up for you even though lestat your yes. maker will not louis your father mm, will not will not i will yeah no. so i mean at least she had that and Oof. she was able to go out literally go <laughs> go out with with her you know what i mean uh, and then there's is there a cruelty or a justice or how do you feeling about Claudia looking at Lestat for the him being the last person that she sees. Well, I think it's fascinating. I mean, he yeah. made her. Yeah. So, I mean, that's her maker, and I, I, he, he brought her into this world, mm -hmm. and he kind of took her out. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, did you have a feeling about it? Uh, no, I, that's I, I, I still haven't been able to like place my mind into what and what that means in the grand scheme of things. I'm curious what you all think, uh, um, within the chat as well. Um, so we have some people that are super fans of Daniel. Um, mm. How do you feel about Daniel's representation in this episode of getting closer to the truth? Do you still feel that he feels, you know, like he's more under the gun regarding having his memory stripped, having to write this book? He's kind of not necessarily doing it on his own free will, but kind of is. There's a conversation mm. for, for both of them. Mm. How, do you, how did he feel for you for this episode? Yeah, he wasn't as... Um to me, arrogant and annoying this episode. Yeah. I felt like he was more willing to listen mm -hmm. um, to the story, which I appreciated. Um, so he didn't really play as large a role in this, but he wasn't there, you know what I mean, when they were had the play and all these things. Right. So I feel like his part was very... Minimal. Yeah, yeah. which I was glad about because, you know, sometimes he just gets on my nerves. All right. Um, what did you think about Santiago I think and his... 
all his theatrics. Well, um, I think Santiago was having fun. I think mm -hmm. he wanted to be a full-blown public spectacle to show his power as the new coven leader, mm. to show that um, this is what happens when you step out of line. Mm. Um, and to show it to, to uh, Armand as well. Um, I think he made a mistake of reaching his mind all the way out to Lestat because he doesn't really know the full story. I mean, he knows, well, well, he knows what he knows in those books, which is the same as what Daniel knows in those books. They're both in the same space of what they think they understand about the relationship that Lestat has with these people. Lestat coming in here is probably gonna blow up in his face. Mm -hmm. um, him underestimating Armand, it's, um, age and his wisdom for being for for living as long as he has as a vampire is going to come back and blow him up in the face because as you saw when he thought that he was going to have his his resounding applause of everybody saying you know kill the vampire and they ended up saying you know banishment instead he mm -hmm. kind of like realized he kind of like lost control mm -hmm. you know i think uh san diego he's the youngest and he's acting as such i think he thinks he's smarter than he really is um and that's gonna blow up in his face mm -hmm. <laughs> how about you but but from an acting standpoint the actor that's playing santiago absolutely killed it i mean mm -hmm. this has just been a clinic of thespianism like everybody is showing up crack their knuckles and was like we're gonna act act well they today. are on stage yeah yes. yeah yeah i like like the performance <laughs> of santiago is great i just think the character is about to just get a whole lot of crow when we have to eat well the crazy thing is like for me um when armand and lestat both have this love for Louis and Louis in this uh, uh, coffin. Yeah. Oh, they're going to get their boy. We already know that it yeah, ain't, yeah, he yeah. ain't going to last in there. I mean, that he's not going to be in there long because obviously he's living to tell the story. Yeah. Um, but so between Lestat and Armand and their power. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see which one of them actually saves him. Yeah. But I mean, obviously Armand is still with us. Yes. Um, so I am curious. For now. How, yeah, yeah. So I am curious how this is going to play out. It wouldn't surprise me if. Um, well, no, I was going to say. No, I was going to say something stupid. Never mind. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, we do know that the uh, the playhouse burns down. Yes. Because of the article that. Right. Daniel because of the received. article. Yep. So I'm sure that's going to tie into to the rescue effort. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I don't I, I don't know if Lestat is going to be the vengeance of of the boyfriend and kill everybody or or even Armand as well. He seemed like they could both kind of walk away. I'm saying that to say that let's not forget that Louis is not the same vampire he was in season one. He's a lot stronger. He's considerably stronger. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that, you know, once he comes to terms, because like he said, we did, like they like he said, I have no idea what happened to uh, to Claudia. Mm -hmm. uh, I think once he finds out, <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out with the season finale. Mm -hmm. uh, you got anything uh, to close out with regarding this? I just, once again, I just have to say Lestat, Sam Reed. Yeah. I mean, just everything about his performance so in this was just emotionally stirring and beautiful. Yeah. So that, that's all. And I cannot wait to see the season finale. Yeah. So good. And, and big. I just want to say big shout outs to the actress that played Claudia who did who had to pick up a character mm. mid-season, well not mid-season, um, at the at the end of one and then have us fall in love. We had our we had our kind of doubts in the very first episode. We were like, well, let's just see what she brings. Yeah. And she was spectacular and went out on her shield from an acting standpoint. Thank you for that incredible, incredible performance. That was dope. You, 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 you did the damn thing. All right, that's it for us. Uh, make sure you uh, tell us uh, what we got right, what we got wrong, and the following is definitely uh, what did we miss. If you want to get to know this beautiful lady a little bit better. Yes, I would say that there will be a link to my, um, oh my gosh, a link to my social media platforms in the description. Also, please, no spoilers to the, for the book readers because we have not read the book, so yeah. we're, we're just kind of going as it goes, and we love it. Yeah, Yo, you all have been super, superb. <laughs> uh, I will also uh, drop a link to uh, the Discord that's coming up so we can have a better and more fun discussion regarding all of this. It's just a way of making the community a little bit more accessible. Thank y'all for your time, and we'll catch y'all on the next episode. All right, y'all take care. Peace.